It's Monday, and uh, happy President's Day. Good thing I actually called the pool before I went to the pool today and got all dressed up and took all my gear over there because they closed at 4 o'clock. So I have a forced day off today, which, quite honestly, it's a blessing in disguise because I really need to let my legs and my calves um, recuperate from yesterday's run. Just an update on my fatigue level. I'm Quite honestly, I'm feeling better than I, I thought I would. The only thing is that, you know, if I sit around for a while and I stand up, I do feel my calves. I need to keep them going um, just to break them in again. But all in all, I, I do feel pretty good. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. Anyways, uh, every Monday I sit around and I plan my workout schedule for the week. Now remember, I told you I've got two training plans. One's the Alcatraz plan. The other one is the Sprint Try for my triathlon in um, April. So it's a mishmash of training plans and I have to distinguish every week uh, which uh, workouts to delete, which workouts to keep, what days to keep them. And it's becoming a real challenge for me because I'm not quite sure what to do. And this is where a real coach comes in because they will be able to, de to determine my, um, my workout schedule and then figure out the appropriate workouts for that week, for that time period, you know, the proper build, the proper um, taper, all that. So I'm, I'm actually not doing very well with my planning right now. And why I planned a half marathon and two 5Ks the next weekend, I have no idea. But for instance, on Friday, I have to eliminate almost all of my workouts to save my legs for Saturday because I want to compete. I want to do good. And then... Saturday afternoon, I got to keep it light so I have legs for Sunday morning, which is my second 5K. So once again, bad planning and um, not really knowing the proper way to plan my workouts is an issue. Luckily, the only other um, obstacle I have in my way before my first sprint triathlon is uh, the Cooper Bridge, Cooper River Bridge run on April 2nd which is a 10K run, not a huge deal, but that is whole, a whole different training um, to my triathlon training. Anyways, off that subject, uh, yesterday I told you I would expose what I had in that box, and that is these tri-clips. Now, for all of you triathletes out there, this is an interesting concept. Um, this is supposedly to help improve your T1 time. For those of you who are just getting into triathlons, T1 is your first transition, your transition between your, um, your swim and your bike. Now the concept is, in general, to have um, your bike shoes pre-clipped into your pedals. So you can have those pre-clipped and most people rubber band the shoes into place and they run out of the transition area after their swim. Uh, with their bike, they get to the transition line where you're able to mount your bike, they jump onto their bike and immediately uh, put their feet on their shoes and then as they're pedaling, uh, their first pedal will actually break the rubber bands and um, they'll put their, their feet into their shoes as they're, as they're on their way. So it saves some time in transition. The tri-clips will actually el eliminate the concept of rubber bands and the whole concept is to hold your shoes in place so they don't hit the ground as you're moving your bike forward and that they're in the proper position so when you hop onto your bike you can just land right on your shoes and they're not going to be flopping all around. So tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to actually attach these to the bike and we're going to give it a shot uh, to see um, you know how they, how they work and if they work properly. And April 23rd, I think, is my first sprint triathlon. That will be the first time I'll use these. So that will be a very cool way to test them. I'll be your guinea pig once again for, um, for this product. Tomorrow, I have a run, a swim, a run, and some core workout. So it's going to be a very busy day. But before I get into all that, I will pop these onto my bike and give it a shot. Until tomorrow, see ya.